42. Time for the Week in Theater. What's going on on stage in Chicago this week? Uh, A bunch of things that are going on. One in particular that we want to bring your attention to. The opening of the Pirates of Penzance. Out at the Marriott Theater in Lincolnshire. Just opened uh, the other day. It'll run through June the 10th. And the Pirate King is joining us in studio this morning, Kevin Early. How are you? It is early for you to be up at this hour. It's it? very early. Sorry, how many times do you hear early jokes? You know, I, 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 I can't so. imagine that uh, I meet a new person who doesn't actually have the thought of a new early joke. Yeah, and some and of us actually go there. Probably about 85% for... actually try to get one in. Well, I apologize for being That's so predictable. It's completely fine. It's completely fine. How is the show going so far? It's going great. What a, just, a, a, a classic show. I mean, just, just such one of the great uh, shows in American musical theater. Gilbert and Sullivan, uh, they just, their lyrics and their, uh, and their storytelling is just you know, profoundly amazing. And what they've done at the Marriott is really take that show and make it really accessible to a lot of people. I think a lot of people think of Gilbert and Sullivan as very Shakespearean and a little highbrow. But... Uh, um, for the Marriott audiences, they, they really like, you know, a nice musical. And uh, I think what Dominic Massimi, uh, our director, has done is really make that accessible um, to uh, not only kids and adults, but you know, just just everybody. I, I think this is one of these shows that I probably have seen, uh, you know, 10 or 12 times through yeah. the years. And it's always fun to, to go back, and it's always interesting to see how uh, actors will reimagine these roles and, and make them their own and how directors will reimagine and you know try to put a slightly different spin on what's on stage. Yeah, and that that starts with the casting and and you know at a place like Chicago you have such a great casting pool to choose from and we've gotten Robbie Lehman who's uh, Ross Lehman who's a, a you know an icon uh, here in Chicago and a, a favorite at the Marriott as well as well as Aline Robinson who's you know, people just buy tickets just to see her be funny and, and, and run around on stage and just to see her antics. So uh, here in Chicago, I think I, I think that's really a fantastic thing that uh, that people look forward to is to actually see some of the people that they've they've seen on stage and, and just to know how wonderful they are. Talk, talk a little about this show and, and what's it about. If people aren't familiar, I mean, this is the one you can bring you, you should bring your kids to. Really, I mean, it's a sort of a for yeah. all ages kind of show. Yeah, it, it really is. It's a love story. Um, uh, we have pirates. We have sword fighting. We have maidens. We have a, a major general who sh- short you know a short little kilt. Um, so it's re- <laughs> it's really f- all right there. That's a sell right. If you there. want to see a major general in a short little kilt? In come and short- see this show. Hey, you're all set. Um, but it's it, it's about a, a pirate who's becoming 21 years old, and through a, a paradox, he was actually born on February 29th, uh, leap year. Which, strangely enough, this year was was our it was the leap year. This was year. the leap year this yeah. year. So every four years uh, that occurs, and instead of being 21 years old by birthdays, he's actually only five and a quarter years old. So he has to remain a pirate, and therefore has a dilemma to deal with in his. Um, in his life, whether he chooses to be with the love of his life or um, to to do his duty and stay with the pirates until he actually becomes 21 years of birth, which will not happen until 1940. Uh, you, you just have that sort of pirate swagger about you as you're even describing it right now. I, well, I, feel, I feel like I'm kind of getting the show a little well, bit. Well, you, right? you know, I'll do what I can. Do you, do, you, do you find yourself when you're in a role like that sort of lapsing into character sometimes? Well, I think, you know, you, you, if you're doing a swagger, I think that you, you got to carry that around with you, you know, especially, you know, before the show. I have two shows today, so you got to sort of get into it. You know, <laughs> you try not to take it home too much, you know, otherwise, yeah. you know. Everybody's like, okay, Kev, just be yourself now. Settle down. Don't just settle down. Show you're not it actually, an hour ago, relax. <laughs> you're not on a pirate ship. You're not a king. Right. Not anything. Just just do the dishes. Okay. And uh, <laughs> just do the dishes. <laughs> now, see, if, if I were in the show also, I would try to be a Johnny Depp uh, like pirate, I would I would try to have that kind of swagger. Uh, I, I I you know I've pulled from a lot of things. I pulled from uh, Kevin Klein did the uh, the revival and I think it was eighty six uh, the Joe Papp version and and I pulled a lot from him and when he was in Fish Called Wanda, there's some great stuff that he does and uh, Johnny Depp, of course. You know I don't think you know nowadays a kid can't think of a pirate without thinking of Johnny Depp. So I think there's a swagger about him that I've pulled from. Um, I, I, I like to pull from Monty Python because that's of that era of, you know, a little bit of that era of what uh, Gilbert and Sullivan, I think, you know, sort of had in mind. 
Uh, Mr. Bean is, you know, one of my favorite heroes as far as like comedy goes. So I tried to pull from all these kind of people and kind of make it my own and, and just really, you know, let the audience have a lot of fun with it. I don't think I've ever heard a comparison between any pirate and Mr. Bean. And Mr. Bean. <laughs> ever. ever. <laughs> Not exactly sure what the correlation I'm, is. I may but come this afternoon to see this, just, just you, to see you that. you got to see my Mr. Bean. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I've just tried to pull from, you know, from anybody who really has that kind of out, out there sense of humor and out there sense of physical comedy because – that's, you know, I think what we really wanted to bring to this production was a, a sense of physicalness because it is an operetta. And when people hear the word operetta, they think, OK, you're just going to stand there Stodgy, and sing. Right, yeah, you're going to stand right. there and sing at me and I'm just going to listen for a while. And you might sound beautiful, but, you know, I won't understand half the words you're saying because you sound so, you know, you're just doing nice vowel sounds. So one of the things I wanted to do is make it physically active and uh, pulling from those, you know, those kind of people really – I think helped infuse that. Yeah, and I, I think that's what makes uh, uh, an actor's performance engaging too. When when they can bring so many different levels to it, and layers yeah. uh, to it. That's what what's fun about it, Kevin. With uh, a, a formidable uh, resume of uh, performances with uh, some pretty heady people, like Patty Lapone and and others. What's that like when you're performing with? You know some of some of the greats. You know what what's great about performing with somebody like Patty is is it really ups the level of your game. You really want to you really want to do better for somebody uh, you know who, who you have so much respect for. Um, I think everybody everyone around you is really looking to you know just again uh, up the level of the game and and really be at your best. You know at some places you can you can. If you're working with people who who, who aren't so uh, professional and really aren't so looking to make, you know, this the best possible show at you know that they can, um, you have a tendency to just kind of just kind of be there, you know, and 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 really working with someone someone like Patty um, really makes you you know think about everything that you're doing and and how how you and the director and and, and the musical director and everybody can make it the best that it possibly is, can. Is there a moment or a performance uh in your career when you you realize that you've hit a a certain level that you know like wow a, a wow moment for you? Um you know each for for me every audience is different and and there are certain audiences like like, well, for instance, at the at the opening of the Marriott today, it was really you know uh, 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 just astounding the the reaction that the audience had you know to the show, and I think that's what I enjoyed the most is each audience is different, and and when you get that you know feedback from an audience, I think that's what drives me to to do it again you know and to try to make it better each time. It must really be the case at the Marriott where it's in the round and you know people can reach out and touch you yeah and actually they probably often do I what, what's funny is in this show we're very uh we've we've chosen to go a very interactive way because of the theater space and we actually get to sit in the seats and 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 you know play with the audience members and make them hold the tree branch that i'm having and we have you know little squirrels and animals that you know we kind of play with the audience a lot so it and they're they're loving it they're they're just enjoying it you know especially when they're on the aisles we're like right there we'll sit in the front row with a couple of people and say shh no 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 we're not here no no i'm not on stage i'm not <laughs> yeah, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain um so it's it's really fun it's really fun to do what are you going to perform for us this morning uh this is the pirate king song um uh, it's called oh better far to live and die and uh, you'll hear some boys in the background. They're not actually in the studio. We've uh, we've lifted them from the uh, from the actual show, but they're, they're here in spirit through recording magic. What do we need to know? Uh, is there some setup that we this need? This is just right at the beginning of the show, where where uh, the pirate king is. Uh, he will live and die a pirate king. That's all we need to know. Kevin Early, the pirate king from Pirates of Penzance at the Marriott. <laughs> Oh, better far to live and die Under the brave black flag I fly Than play a sanctimonious part With a pirate head and a pirate heart Away to the cheating world go you Where pirates all are well to do But I'll be true to the song I sing And live and die A pirate king For I am
I'm a pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. I am a pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. Hurrah for the pirate! When I sally forth to seek my prey, I help myself in a royal way. I sink a few more ships, it's true, than a well-bred monarch ought to do. But many a king on a first-class throne, if he wants to call his crown his own, must manage somehow to get through. More dirty work than ever I do, for I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. Hurrah for the pirate king! Forward, my men! Off! Raise the shanty! Raise the mainsail! Off we sail, laddies! to get an R, R in there. R, 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 R. That is fantastic. <laughs> I think you cracked the glass here in our showcase studio with those high notes there for you a know, second. You it's, know, it's a little different actually looking out here on Michigan Avenue than it is you know, standing <laughs> in the theater. You know, watching audiences members, you know, audience members' faces. But uh, these people out here are great. Look, it's a big crowd out here. It's very nice. you, you have uh, all of the world walking by on Michigan Avenue enjoying the Pirate King from the Pirates of Penzance uh, running through June the 10th, the Marriott Theater in Lincolnshire. Tickets at 847-634-0200, marriottheater.com or ticketmaster.com. Kevin Early, thank you for coming in. Hey, thank you. Thanks fantastic. for having me. Really appreciate it.